Good morning from Port Allen, Louisiana. It is Sunday, August 25th. We are about to cross the Mississippi and hang a left on 110 North. And we're going to run up to North Baton Rouge and get this PVC resin. And for now, it's going to St. Laurent, Quebec, which is basically Montreal. Uh, I was told that with the rail and everything else that we'll load these, but they're subject to change. So en route, it could get switched to Toronto, uh, Mississauga, Scarborough, just about anywhere. But for now, it's going to one and a half miles. Take exit St. Lawrence up in Montreal. I north. So we're going to head up into New York, cross a thousand islands, just like we're going to Valleyfield. But right now, we have Baton Rouge on the left. Hey, good morning from Kentucky. I am making my way up towards Glendale. I just really like this foggy sunrise up through here. 66 degrees, a little bit of fog out across the horizon. It's a beautiful morning. I've had the windows crack, enjoying that fresh breeze coming in. I just put them up so you wouldn't get that rush of wind in the audio for this. I loaded yesterday morning bright and early uh, down in Baton Rouge. I could not get any video there because there were signs at the gate as soon as you pulled up that said absolutely no cameras. So uh, certainly not going to violate a customer's policy and video or take pictures inside their facility. But suffice it to say, we loaded some PVC resin and now we're heading up to uh, St. Laurent, Quebec, which is Montreal. So that's the route. We're on 71 North. We're going to come up here to Louisville in about an hour. And we're going to make a 45 degree right turn on 71. We're going to take 71 up to Lodi, Ohio. And we're going to make almost a 90 degree right turn on 76. And we're going to go to the house. And I'm going to spend the night at home tonight. I'm going to be home probably around 1 or 2 o'clock this afternoon. And I'm going to leave tomorrow morning at 7 a.m and head on up because this load doesn't deliver until Wednesday morning. Okay, we are at the Blue Beacon, as you can see, here in Girard, Ohio. Glad there's not a big line. I'm going to show you guys what I have on here. Step back so it's not as noisy. I have on PVC resin. <laughs> it looks like uh, a big bag of illegal substances, doesn't it? it? Looks like something I could sell on the street, but. I think that if you uh, put this up your nostril, you're probably going to have a problem. But this is PVC resin. Looks just like powdered sugar. Maybe a little thinner. Probably more like a flour. Confectionery sugar. So I take a sample every time. And that's what this is. So if the customer needs it, they can have it. And if they don't, they can throw it away. Simple as that but huh, it's all good like I said I spent the night at home last night 
uh, it was nice to get out of the truck for an evening and sleep at home, not have to rush, get up in the morning, get a shower, get back over to the truck and get going. So that was nice. Uh, from here up to Quebec is only about nine hours. Uh, what I plan on doing today is I am going to get fuel across the street at the Petro. I just said 65 gallons. I'm going to build up some showers. And then I'm going to run up to the Loves in Watertown, top off the rest of the way. That way I have a love shower. It gives me some more options for when I have to stop later in the week. And then I'm going to go up to uh, the Flying J in Cornwall, Ontario. And that's where I'm going to stop for the day. Uh, so I probably have about seven and a half, maybe eight hours at best to get there. And get up in the morning, take a shower, head on up an hour up into Montreal and leave real early in the morning. I should be up to Cornwall this afternoon by four o'clock at the latest, I, I, I would think. It's, what time is it now? 7.30 in the morning. And I've only got this one guy ahead of me here at Blue Beacon, so I'll be back on the road in 30 minutes, so that won't be bad. But uh, some of you guys had asked about my switch into Vax vacuum pneumatics uh, I'm very glad that I made the switch I really like this type of work compared to the other uh, nothing against dirt tank and nothing against end dump but I like the type of work with vacuum pneumatics it requires more thought like this PVC I talked to a few of the drivers kept wanting to load forward it kept just wanting to blow to the front no matter what we were doing so you had to think well how can I get the back up to close to 34 so we got to thinking about different things like well let's put our 90 degree elbow up on the inside and when we first load blow everything right into the number four tank and that's what we did that's what i did and then from there once i filled number four i went up opened my hatch took the 90 off and then let product start to blow forward it worked great it worked great i like that having to think and the reason why i like it is because when it comes out great, you can give yourself a little pat on the back. I'm gonna show you. Can you guys see that gauge? That gauge is dead on 33,600 pounds. So putting that 90 on the back and getting that done worked out perfectly. Uh, <laughs> I know it's 33.6 because Tennessee, uh, day before yesterday, was open on Sunday and they were putting almost dag on every single truck on the scale i had to wait i don't like that i got pre-pass come on i'm legal get me out of here hey you want to weigh me weigh me i'm legal when i got on the scale i was twelve thousand and eighty on my steers i was like 32 7 on my drives i was down on fuel and i was 33 6 on the back i'm like that's pretty daggone good so that's what i like about vacuum pneumatics you got to think about things you can't just go in there whoop let's just throw it in the top and get out of here it requires some uh some thought and not only that but to stay a lot cleaner so when i'm coming in here and i'm spending money on a truck and trailer wash well on a truck wash oakley's paying for the trailer it'll stay relatively clean and the truck has i mean look guys you know for all intents and purposes the truck looks great so anyhow a little bit of chit chat this morning we're gonna hop back up in the truck we're next in they've got this voice household goods mover in there and then uh, we'll be next and then we're gonna go across the street like i said splash on 65 gallons and beep beep catch you in a little bit hope you're having the best day of your life God bless you.
are you, sir? St. Laurent. About 24 hours. No, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. about 48 miles from my delivery in the morning up to St. Laurent, which is uh, Montreal, basically. So I'll be getting up about four, getting a shower, getting out of here, probably a little bit after five, getting up there sometime around six, 6.15, hopefully. And I'm gonna hang out probably for about an hour and a half. They open at eight, so looking behind me to make sure I don't get run over. I'll do a quick 360. Over here is the Flying J, and I am parked right over there. Got an end spot, which is good, up against the curb, so I don't have to worry about, hopefully, people ripping the hood off my truck. I don't trust these guys. But, again, I'm going to get up early and go and try to get this load delivered. I don't know what I'm doing next. Apparently, the loads in Louisiana have dried up because I heard that the rail was ordered back to work here in Canada. I haven't looked that up. I don't know for certain, but I heard that, which it makes sense. If they were ordered back to work, then all these loads that we were covering, again, one car, one rail car is four Oakleys, would disappear. So that's, uh, at least I got a good one for the first one, the only one. I mean, basically Baton Rouge to Montreal, that's 1,700 miles darn near. I'll take it. But, uh, so I'm not sure what I'm doing next. I don't know if I'm doing Valley Field or if Nick is going to have me bounce back down to uh, the States to do something else. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And I'm glad I got here when I did. Well, all the trucks are coming in now. There was a lot of parking left at this Flying J, so I pulled right in and got me a good spot. But there's a restaurant over here called Bordeaux's. And when I was here, well, let me take a step back. I laid over here a year ago, February, uh, February of 2023. Michael Hutchins and I brought a load of soda ash out of Buffalo over to Montreal, delivered it on Friday, Friday night, came over to this Flying J, sat here all weekend because we couldn't wash out till Monday morning. And then we went over to Valley Field and loaded for sulfur down in Lake Charles, Louisiana. And we <laughs> spent all weekend hanging out there at that Flying J. But this Bordeaux restaurant right here is awesome and him and i came over here and sat down had a few dinners and lunches and whatnot and just a super good guy uh, gave me a chance to meet him i'd never really met him until then so that was awesome and i was grateful for that but uh anyhow we're gonna go in here and see if we can get a bite to eat at bordeaux and i've been wanting to get back here ever since so we'll catch you guys in a little bit bye bye so i'm sitting in bordeaux this place is just a really quaint little diner but it's a really awesome place, just a regular deli type diner. They serve excellent food. Um, it's a really good place to eat. 
I like it here. I've wanted to get back here. I'm glad I had the opportunity. And it was actually my plan when I left the house this morning to stop here, specifically to come over here and have a bite to eat and get up at the Blind J and get a shower and head on to deliver, as I said, tomorrow morning. Out over here is the truck stop where you see these guys pulling in. So it is literally adjacent right next door. I've arrived at my location here in St. Laurent, Montreal. Just waiting for them to open the sign. You can read it. It is in Francais and English. It says receiving hours are 7 to 5. But I just checked with the man right down there and he said to ring the intercom, which is right there, and they need this, they would let me in. Well, no one answered, so I'll just hang out in front of the gate. Uh, there's a lot of flatbeds sitting out in the road because this is a PVC plant. So they obviously load a lot of flatbed PVC out of here. Heading up that way. Uh, beautiful day here. It's about 70 degrees. It's cool. I like it. It's not real humid. It was 90 yesterday when I parked up over at the Flying J at Lancaster. But uh, it's a nice morning. Looks like it might rain. It's going to keep it cool, I hope. But we're getting it done. Bruce Oakley, vacuum pneumatics, PVC resin here in St. Laurent, Quebec. Basically Montreal. You guys are interested in Oakley, Jimmy's Road Life, LYFE at gmail.com. New subscribers, old subscribers, I really appreciate you. Thank you. Hit that like button if you find value in what I'm putting out or entertainment or both. And I appreciate all y'all. God bless you. Have a great day. We're going to get this resin off. Good night.